Chat, this is going to be the first time we're watching this version of Divorce Court. It's ran by Judge Lynn Tyler. Let's see what she got to say. Let's see how her courtroom is. If y'all enjoy it, we might have more of these on the channel. Remember to subscribe if y'all new. Hit that like button if you enjoy it. Two of you have been together for six years. You have one child together. Yes. And Ms. Heredia wants to know why you won't put a ring on it already. Myesha flirt too much and kicks him out too often. What? does he be doing to get kicked out and why is she flirting with other men but about your relationship and why you think we're here today or did i get it right you hit it right on the head there you go this handsome young man here i've been um having the pleasure of allowing him to enter into my mind body and soul the way she's speaking to this man why ain't he married to her because the way that she speak of him so highly, this fine young man, I let him into my mind, body, and soul. Jesus. The way she talk, and she be flirting with other men. Fuck you flirting with people for? Nasty young lady. Now I'm mad. Because now she trying to act like he's superstar, but you out here talking to other men in front of his back. <laughs> Go ahead. That ain't Jerome um, over there. He's giving him all of me, all of me, I feel like, the least in return he can do is give me his last name. Wow. Mr. Hilton, do you have anything to that outstanding <laughs> remark? Yes, it's a, it's a lot of things that had happened over the years. Six years, one child, three children prior. So now he got four kids? That has prolonged the process. Um, Prolong the process. The run up to get married should be a fun, like, yeah, you know, but if it's become a process. Yeah, it's all. Um, good reason to be concerned why is it a process oh um, there's been a lot of trust issues throughout the relationship name your number one trust issue you have with miss heredia well as far as us getting into different arguments and uh, anytime we have a problem our go-to is uh to kick me out of the house wow you don't what have... is the smallest thing you ever got kicked out of the house for over a picture tell me what happened previous relationship that i had uh, i kind of grew fond of a little small kid and uh, I helped him from a small baby till he got like four years old. And I kind of grew a little bit of attachment to him. I, kinda, I, hold, I held on to the picture. I didn't have a picture of him, his mother or anything like that, but I held on to the picture. Whoa, whoa. So basically he holding on to a picture of his ex's kid because he helped raise the kid. Is that weird? Is it weird for him to have that picture of that little kid because that was from his past relationship. It ain't even his kid. It sounded like that was just his ex's kid. It ain't his. Oh, wow. And she said, get your, get out the house. You want to worry about that kid so much. Go visit it. Get out. He said, you, 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 you want to see that kid so much. Go to that house and you better stay there. She got mad about it? She came across a picture one day and it kind of grew, grew a flame inside of her and, and it turned into an argument and the argument turned into Trying to, to get out of the house. Mr. Radio, why don't you give me your version of that event? Like Mr. Hill. How are you going to get mad because he's attached to a little boy? Um, it wasn't, it was about the picture. It absolutely was about the picture because it was how I found it. It wasn't like I knew that it was in my home and it wasn't like I was even looking for it. It was something that I ended up stumbling across. Her home. And when I brought it to his attention, um, he made it seem, he kind of tried to downplay it because we have a son oh. and he was making it seem like that's his son also. And I was like, no, that's not biologically. You have one child and that child is with me. Why does that bother you so much? Here we have, we have a whole community full of fatherless children out there. He chooses to become attached to a little boy and hey, you know, I mean, it takes a village. Why does that bother you so? They be clapping for everything, but is this a valid clap? Now that he got his own son, but he hung up on the one that he helped raise prior because he feel like that's his son as well. I, I can't be mad at him for that. I can't be mad at him for that. I ain't know he had a son with her and she feeling jealous. Like, why are you giving this other little boy attention? Focus on our little boy. I see why she jealous about it, but that ain't worth throwing him out the house for it. Wow. Again, like I said, it bothered me because it was something that I didn't know about that was in my home. And I think if the approach would have been different, if he would have told me, hey, you know, I have this picture in the house, if it was something that we would have probably talked about or if I would have known about it, then I probably wouldn't have blew up the way that I did. I feel it. Are you that insecure? Because that's all that Whoa. is is insecurity. I can be. You took it as a threat to self. And then next thing you do, we'll bounce him out the house, which in chasing your insecurities, you're kicking away the thing you want. 
Woo! You know what I mean? You, 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 you're chasing spitting. crazy and you're losing your man in the process. But okay, I'm done preaching. What do you say is the major impediment to you bringing this thing home? Like, I've asked him before, why haven't I had a ring? I mean, he's given me false hope. He's went to the extent of even taking me to stores and getting my ring size. So I'm thinking, okay, well, in a matter of maybe days or maybe in a few hours, I'll he's be getting proposed propose to. to me. So, you know, I get ecstatic and, and, you know, I start planning weddings already in my head and picturing, you know, a dress and the whole nine. And, you know, months will go by and... Are I, you dangling the possibility of marriage in front of her to keep her on the straight and narrow with you? Not at all. Not at all. Have you gone to... Have you taken her to size rings? Yes, ma'am. And, and did you really intend to buy her one? I mean, what was the... What was the motive? Of course, I mean, I'm, I'm a stand-up guy. So anything I, that I, I say, I follow through with it. Unless you show me that you're not the woman that you that you're telling me that you, you're going to be for the rest of my life. Mm. Give me an example of her not being the woman she represents herself to be. She's, she has lied to me. About Ooh. what? Past relationships that she's had. She's also lied to me about conversations that she's had with an ex of hers. Ms. Ms. Heredia, do you know what he's talking about? I have no idea. You, you lying about an ex and you don't know that you lying about an ex? Something going on with this young lady. She trying to come off as, yeah, I'm composed, calm. Nah, you seeming a little wild off the hinges. I see why he ain't trying to marry. She seem insane. Now she don't know what he talking about. Like she ain't got an ex. You have absolutely no inkling what the conversation was. Who in the chat just said, I'll pipe his girl? Why are you saying that? Who cares, Isaiah? You freaky frog. Nobody asked. Nobody sat here and said, Isaiah, would you? Nobody care that you want to sleep with her, Isaiah. Or who that conversation might have been with. Young, this is coming from the young man who told me that he doesn't want to move forward in, in marriage because if it ain't broke, don't fix it. He said that you to that? you? Because Do you feel that way? Me, myself, I want to be married one day. Um, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't constantly, like I said, she's kicked me out. I wouldn't keep going back to the same woman that I don't, I don't want to, I don't have attendance How many times did she kick you out? At least about six or seven. <laughs> Easy. She'll say something like, well, give me my key back. Uh, 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 I don't yes. want you here. Exiling in, in my... you from the home. Right. You've been shunned in one, one way, shape or form. Right. Like, as she said, that a picture in her house, she always makes it, makes it known that this is her, her house. Her house. And well, get your house and move her into that. <laughs> well, get your own. Get your house, move her into that one. Because if you moved into her house, now she feel like she in too much control. Get your house and then throw her out of it. Even the playing field, buddy. I, you know, you have a marriage. I feel like it should be 50-50. Are you paying the bills in her house? Of course. He wouldn't be in the house if he wasn't. Then why are you throwing him out of it? <laughs> She, she trying to pop her shit. I wouldn't be with a man if he ain't paying my bills. Then why you keep throwing him out if he paying the bills, doing what he... You obviously want to marry him. So why you keep throwing him into the street? This lady don't make no sense. I don't know what's going on in here. But listen, this young lady is insane and is starting to show. And we've only been watching this for six minutes. All over the place for reasons that we do not know, bruh. What's going on in here? Do you keep reminding him that it is your house and not his house, even I've, though he's contributing financially? I've gotten better. You've gotten better. Wow. All right. Hey, that was honest, at least. That was honest, at least. So, um, now, Ms. Haredi, I'm going to talk to you. You say he doesn't have boundaries when it comes to talk. Wait, who recommended me this video? Because why are they in divorce court when they're not even married? <laughs> why are they on? This is a relationship court. This is like couples counseling. They're not even married. Why are they in divorce court? Say that he doesn't put enough boundaries between him and one of his baby's mothers. Why don't you tell me what your concern is in that regard? With this other woman, it's been so much damage and so much hurt. Being able to call me out of my name. Oh. Being able to disrespect me publicly on social media. Oh. And there's never been any repercussions. Okay. Let me ask you this. When you and her get into it, is it something she starts? Do you start it? A lot of times it's me reacting because I'm trying to defend my character. Reacting to what? What kind of things are said about you that you feel 
you must respond to. Just saying things like, he's her man, remember that, you know, if she wanted him back, she could have him. Just little <laughs> things to get a reaction out of stuff him. Stuff like that. Right. That, Mr. Hilton, is that going on? Yeah, it has. It has. Your baby mama is talking to your current girlfriend, possible fiance. I could get that man back if I feel like it. he's still mine if I want him. And you ain't saying anything about that. She feel that comfortable to just run out her mouth. She could get you back whenever she wants you, buddy. That's how she talking. That's cr I'd be upset if I was that lady too. And he ain't saying anything of that's wildly disrespectful and extremely disgusting. And what was your response to that? I told her leave the situation alone. Do to the fact because I know what she's capable of doing. I know how petty she is. So just steer clear of that. Let let's, fo let's focus on our relationship first and foremost and build on that first. So behind my back, she took it upon herself to reach out to her. And when she did that, she got exactly what I told her she was going to get. Did you reach out when he told you not to? Did you start something? You did. I, I didn't reach out on, on, on any, like, it wasn't malicious. It was just, you know, hey, this is who I am and Miss Radiac, I don't know if you own a mirror or not, uh, but you're gorgeous, and I think you're your own worst enemy. They start showing us pictures. What has this got to do with the topic at hand? That lady on the other side is extremely disrespectful. This baby mother is disrespectful. What he's telling me is true because I see those other insecure things that you did. A, a picture of a little boy got him booted out of the house. You're scared to death. You're hanging on for dear life. And anything that looks like might be some kind of potential threat to you and your relationship with him gets an over-the-top nuclear response, no matter what it is. Mm. And that's why he's running. Guys never want you if you chase them. You turn around and sit down somewhere, and they're like, oh, she's not behind me anymore. <laughs> <laughs> She put in the wrong game and laughing at her. Did you hear what I just said? Yes, ma'am. Is there a ring of truth in it anywhere? Absolutely. Mr. Hilton, did you hear what I just said? I definitely heard what you said. Do, it, do you believe that's true? Yes. Are there any other issues that you think are prohibiting you from getting married? He doesn't trust me. It's gotten so bad that even when I'm telling the truth, he says that I'm lying. And then, like, even if the truth comes out at a later time, there's still no remorse. Like, well, you know what? what? You were telling the truth. Let me give you the benefit of the doubt moving forward. Has she lied to you in the past that would, in, in, in such a manner or in such quantity that you can't believe anything she says? With a straight face, Your Honor. Uh, like what? What kind of lies has she told? It's been, it's been times where I've caught him, Maisha, her red-handed. Like I said, one of her exes, she's uh, reached out to him. And when I confronted about it, she, instead of, you know, admitting to it and apologize, being apologetic about it, she felt like it, she, she rather lied about it. Like, no, nah, that didn't happen. Or well, it wasn't that serious when mm -hmm. I heard the whole conversation. I'm with you. I'm with you. I, I want to move on to something that really interested me was that the catfish situation where got somebody catfish? got a hold of your picture and pretended they were you on social media. Wherever. Young lady took it upon herself to go onto my profile and to create a whole new profile try to air out dirty laundry, made up things. There was a lot of defamation that was involved. Mm -hmm. um, just trying to make me look bad so that he could have a bad taste in his mouth. And I mean, obviously I do a good job of that on my own, so mm -hmm. I don't need her helping out, trying to, uh, you know, break us uh, up. How did you respond to that? Did, did, you, did you fly in like Superman and tell her she had, didn't have to worry, she, that, that this other woman, you didn't care? I, right away, I let her know that, um, you know, this is something that not necessarily she shouldn't be concerned about it because that's, that's definitely serious. Um, but yeah, I was gonna be there for how apologetic I was about it, even though I didn't, you know, I didn't do it myself. Did he do that? Did he come correct with you with his response? Probably with that um, specific time, but I mean, there's been other run-ins that I- That's psychotic. What kind of exes do he have? His exes are crazy. Why are they pretending to be her? Who, who, who catfishes as I don't even understand? had with her why I felt like I was neglected. What happened with the candy bar? Somebody tell me somebody's Please. kid took a candy bar? I, I'm lost on that one myself. We were um, going she to She remembers. Go. Okay, <laughs> let's hear it, let's hear it. <laughs> we were going shopping and um, I was at the register and my daughter was at the register and she took it upon herself to grab a piece of candy 
and um, I just ended up grabbing another one to give it to the lady at the register. And when she was walking out of the store, one of the other employers had seen her, I guess, thinking that she had some type of intentions on shop, like, mm -hmm. you know, taking the candy without it being paid for. And I've actually already paid for it. It's just during the transaction, she was trying to walk out of the right. store. So instead of Robert, like, kind of interjecting and saying, like, you know, hey, you know, it's, she paid for it, you know, he came at it more like, well, you should have just showed him the receipt. That's not how I remember it at all. I hope not, because that was at a all. stupid story. <laughs> at Why all. are we bringing I'm sorry, that up? Ready, yeah. you, you just show him the receipt. Well, I, I don't know why everybody thinks that. You know, I get angry, I get upset, but I do it so rarely, and I always think of it as a failure on my part to what? diplomatically and appropriately handle a situation, even if I've got a fool on the other side. Now, I haven't said that I haven't gotten angry because I do, but you seem to look for that. You seem to think that a ratcheted up situation is a sign of true compassion and, you know, he's gonna go for it, gonna go for it on my behalf. You need it in order to get loud and crazy on your behalf in order to feel like he really loves you. And that's not what that is. Do, do you see what I'm saying? They keep clapping. You she do seem crazy, cause show the receipt is a logical, alternative to that like what if they are walking out the store hey you stole that candy bar no look at the receipt it's right here what did she want him to do backflips show the receipt that was a rational man's response to a stupid situation but you wanted him to come in all hard and crazy with it right kind of <laughs> i know why you're not getting a ring so let's talk about you hear them in the crowd Ooh. So let's talk about it, okay? Because we can't get you one unless you fix what the what the obstacles are. And I'm willing to change. Now, <laughs> Mr. Hilton, sometimes I get to this point in the proceeding and I tell a woman I'm going to tell her how to get a ring and the guy over there almost collapses. <laughs> <laughs> now, you got to tell me now if this thing gets right, is marriage really on the table? Because don't dangle it if it's not there for you anymore. This... He don't even know if it's still there. Look at him. It's hitting him. He like, he's contemplating. Damn, do I even want to do this? It's hitting him at this exact moment. As a matter of fact, I'm going to give you a minute to think about it. Because if you don't give me the answer that I need to hear, that determines what I'm going to tell her. Do you actually see marrying Ms. Heredia? Yes. Um... Talk to me. Sound hesitation. This is, this is my final straw, though. You know, coming here because it's been six years, he back and forth, cry. back and forth. And just as, you know, she has a desire to want to be married, I have a desire to want to be in a, in a functional relationship that's not on a seesaw constant. And that's what you're in right now, is yes. it? it, it a, a relationship that is not functioning well. Correct. What do you think you need to change? I know, I, I mean, I, I see the big glaring issue over here. I get that part. But nothing's ever completely one-sided. Right. What, what ownership do you take in the dysfunction that is currently your relationship? I can be a little stubborn at times. Like when she mentions that I don't have her back mm -hmm. on certain things that she might be upset about, I feel like if I've mentioned it one time, you know, you heard me the first time, let's leave it at that. Right. Like I, don't, I don't follow up. Yeah. Got to go back. Mm, Miss Reassure I'm multiple talk to times. You for a second. Jealousy is an ugly chick, and she's very expensive. And what she does is she costs you peace on a daily basis, on the off chance that one day he might mess up. You're making every day miserable. Can, I mean, do you see how deep that is? I'm going to chase him today. I'm going to be angry today. I'm going to look today. See, if I were that other chick. I'd be over there like, yay, because she's done her job. She kept you from getting that ring. She's successful. She won. She can spike the ball. All she got to do is go in for the extra point because you've allowed her to win. Now, if I saw her, if I saw her name on something, delete, move on. Every time you get upset about her, every time you discuss her with him, she wins. That's facts. I got to clap with that one. That's facts. Because you bringing up that other woman is what the other woman want. You on her mind. Because she ain't got nothing to do with your current relationship. And that's facts. Come on, judge. Talk you to her. You need to start looking at it that way. But 
you need to find satisfaction in who and what you are. You can't get any prettier. So I don't know what to do with that. Mm. But you have to realize that you will be happy and stable. Let's say he, I hope you live to 105. I do. Let's say he gets hit by a bus tomorrow and dies. <laughs> You'll be fine. It'll be sad. You'll cry. You'll be upset. But your life won't end. You act like the fact that he's might have a woman out there or might have somebody who wants him is going to end your life. Your responding life is a life-threatening event, and I'm telling you it's not. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Don't keep handing that woman a victory. You are going to drive him away. You got that? Yeah. My best to both of you. This matters again. I don't like that game that she put her on. That's the thing about Reese. Reese pick up the gems that y'all be dropping. When y'all be dropping that game, I scoop it up and I run with it. That's the truth. I gotta pick up that game. That's why y'all keep dropping that knowledge. I gotta run with it. I don't like that game that she dropped at the end time. If he get hit by a bus, your life would be fine. Well, it probably would because she keep throwing him out the damn house so she won't be homeless. Listen. I'm going to be honest, what she need to be telling this young lady is to ease up off of him. She adding a lot of unnecessary stress and tension to his day-to-day, -day, making it hard for him to even want to live with her for the rest of his life. That's the game she need to be dropping. That ex-girlfriend that's on the outside of the house talking that ya, ya, ya. Leave her ass outside the house. We ain't worrying about her. She catfishing pictures of you. She a fan. Let her be in a fan area and watch from the nosebleeds. The fans ain't on the court with the players. They're watching the game. Don't allow the fans into the locker room because now that's how you start messing with the team chemistry. You see what's going on? Telling y'all, chat. I'm just trying to put y'all on game because y'all ain't got that game. Look at her, she look a little lost. Look at him, he look bashful. Today the judge also called it how it was. Um, there was no gray areas, it was strictly black and white on, um, I was the problem. And now that I know that I'm the problem, I'm gonna start working on the solution. I've never seen that. A young lady with accountability in an, in an attempt to change and better herself. That's dangerous. How does that work? Before I before I get married, I have to uh, be before I before I get married, I have to uh, be uh, more concerned with her feelings. He talking like he gonna marry her. This was what they needed. They're getting married, Chad. I'm happy for him. But he talking like this a post game interview. You know, at all times. Also, you know, I have to change my tone on how I speak with her as well. I know she's mentioned before that 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 bothers her. Maisha says she stopped obsessing over getting married and decided to focus on herself and developing new interests. Damn, does that mean he's still in the picture? I hope he's still around. She focusing on herself. Soon after, Robert took her on a romantic vacation and proposed. Well, she don't got to stress about marriage because she already married now. She got proposed to. And now she focusing on herself. That's what she needed, her own hobbies. She was too damn wrapped up in the idea of being married that she forgot to enjoy her. Yeah, I'm glad that worked out for them two goofy asses.